I don't even have to say it or talk about it. You guys know where I'm at. Um, I don't think I'm gonna stick with the crankbait. I think what I'm gonna do, and you guys are gonna have to hear me out on this one, is I'm gonna take off the black and blue creature bait and I'm gonna put on a watermelon red. You'll notice the sun is coming out and you can't really tell right here, but exactly. If you go to spots where the sun are, you can see the water is not dark or murky. It is really bright. So yeah, taking this black and blue off and I'm gonna switch to watermelon red. Now why watermelon red? Because watermelon red is a really good color when the sun is out, especially for bass and pike. The green and the red, they really get fired up at that. And with conditions like these, I have found that I do very good with watermelon red. That looks so good, I love it. Got it, Ariel. What do you mean? I used to see you on my phone, not on, uh, <laughs> not in person. Oh, wait, what? You watch my videos? Oh, yeah. I'm AR casting. Yeah. What's going on? What's going on, man? Nothing. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you, too. That's awesome. I'm like, what the? I'm like, oh, no way. <laughs> no, you did. Are you serious? Yeah, I swear to God. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Let me know if you catch anything. Really? It worked. <clears throat> okay. It worked. First fish of the day on the watermelon red. There we go. Getting colder. There we go. There, get a better look at it in the sun. Go like this. Back in he goes. Well, it's only one fish, but I kept going with the watermelon red. Uh, I ended up catching one just here. I met a subscriber. It's been a good day. Now, I think I'm going to need a couple more fish to get a video, though. Oh, it's it's one of the it's a very hard lake for sure. Uh, right here is one of the deepest spots of the lake, like out there off that island. It goes to 34 feet. If you look at the depth you'll see it's 10 and 20 feet but this is the deepest because it does go out to 30 and 36 feet or 34 excuse me oh we came off that was a good fish i just got bit off by a pike oh no i just got bit clean off by a pike there was a pike right there hold on i i i, I have to show you guys this look at i either got bit clean off by a pike or i was in the rocks so we got a fish we got a miss uh I mean, I'm pretty sure that was a pike or I got bit off, but hey, it's better than nothing. Uh, it's a crankbait. Is that a No, it's a Rapala BX Brat. Oh, wow. And then a Texas rig creature bait. Those are nice rods. Thank you. It's a Shimano Corrado. Is that a decoration or is that a recreation? Uh, is what? Is that a decoration? That, it's, it's a lure. That's what you catch the fish. And then. So pretty that that fish bite it. That's a, that's a G. Loomis rod, that's a Shimano Corrado. He's on it, he won't take it. Please take it. Got him. That has gotta be big.
That is why I'm careful. Listen here. If you make this, okay, here's all you had to do to make it easy on us. There we go. Look at the colors on that pike. He smoked it too, it was boom. I know it was only a bass in the morning and a pike now. It's only two fish and you guys know that in the past I have said that I do not like making one and two fish videos, but also over time there have been a lot of you guys that have said you like just the raw clips or the GoPro fishing. So I mean, hey. Oh, that's a big pike. Don't break off. Just kidding, not a big one, but. That one's fatter than the last one. Pike are coming in. You know what, I'll do a pike video, a video with a bass and two pike. Back down he goes. It's even bigger. Just kidding. No, it's not. Oh, no, no, no. Listen, stop, stop. Stop, you're gonna go back in. Don't bite, listen, okay? Okay, here we go, see? This is funny because I've always said to you guys, oh, I don't like pike or I catch so many. Well, over the years I have caught a lot here in other lakes, public, private, uh, even ponds that have had them, no matter what. But three pike now, that changes things. Now I'm like, hey, can we, can we catch another and can we do an all pike video? I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoy a video like this because I don't ever really try to do these. <laughs> Into the abyss. That's done. I forgot I didn't change the brake settings. It's over. I had a lipless crankbait on and I turned the brakes down to one. And yeah, if I get this out, that's bad news. And it's actually gonna come out because what? Because I use KVD line and lure. So the video I did, how to remove a really bad backlash, does this trick work? Sure does. Yep, it's one of the worst I've had in a long time, and you saw how bad that was, but hold on. There, it's out. Now the question is, there's so much line out. Can I get it re-spooled? Totally forgot to readjust the brakes. And it looks like it's going to be okay. And it is going to be okay, so I'm going to fish this crankbait out. Please take it. That's another pike. Let's 
sooner you listen, the better off we're going to be. Uh, okay, so in honor of Matt Goes Fishing, Pike Nation. Matt, Matt Goes Fishing, MGF, comment below. Is this Pike Nation, is this worthy enough to be Pike Nation for you? Because, yeah, you know, Matt Goes Fishing, he's, he's a pretty good judge of what the day is, so. Mm -hmm.